seemingly random movements of infants are actually necessary for the development of coordination. Scientists have found that at first glance, random movements of newborns, which manifest themselves from the first day of life, actually contribute to the development of their sensory motor system and coordination. A better understanding of the formation of this system will allow us to develop an earlier diagnosis of developmental disorders. According to a new study by scientists from the University of Tokyo, Japan, spontaneous movements of the child contribute to the development of his sensory motor system. The researchers used motion capture technologies and computer models of the musculoskeletal system to analyze the interaction between muscles and sensations throughout the body of infants and newborns. The results of the study are published in the journal Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences. Newborns almost never remain motionless. From the very first day of life and even in the womb, babies snap, twitch their arms and legs, and fidget on the spot, seemingly without purpose or external stimulation. This behavior is called spontaneous movement, and according to the researchers, it plays an important role in the development of the sensory motor system, which provides our control over muscles, movements, and coordination. A better understanding of the relationship between these seemingly random movements and early human development will help identify early signs of various developmental disorders. Today, knowledge of how newborns learn to move their bodies is very limited. Basically, previous studies of sensory motor development have focused on muscular activity that causes movement in a joint or part of the body. Japanese scientists devoted their new work to muscle activity and sensations. They found that spontaneous movements, which do not seem to have an explicit purpose or purpose, promote coordinated sensory motor development. The team recorded the movements of 12 healthy newborns, under the age of 10 days, and 10 infants, about 3 months old, using motion capture technology. They then assessed the infant's muscular activity and sensory perception using a computer model of the child's entire body musculoskeletal system. After that, the authors applied computer algorithms to analyze the spatiotemporal features of the interaction between perception and muscle activity. It is generally accepted that the development of the sensory motor system depends on repetitive actions. This means that the more often we repeat the same movement, the more likely we are to remember it. According to the new results, the development of the sensory motor system in infants is based on exploratory behavior, so they do not just repeat the same action many times, but try different movements and their combinations. In addition, scientists have demonstrated a link between early spontaneous movements and spontaneous activity of neurons in the somatosensory cortex. Previous studies have shown that simply movement involves a small set of primitive patterns. They can be clearly seen in the example of cyclical or directed movements, such as walking or grasping an object. The results of this study support the theory that newborns acquire this synchronized muscle activity through spontaneous movements of the whole body without an explicit purpose, 